Yeah, Lisa, we're already experiencing those wind gusts. Not sure if you can actually see some of that wind activity, you know, as it's uh, hitting uh, this red SUV right next to us and uh, making that snow, you know, blowing that snow this way. We can also, not sure if we can turn to my left and kind of see all that uh, wind activity right there. A little bit um, difficult for us um, when we arrived here now. Uh, up on the drive uh, through Highway 50, we did uh, experience a very smooth drive, not a lot of traffic. Actually, um, the only traffic that we did mostly see was a few cars driving down west, but the entire uh, drive up here, very smooth. We did see, experience a little bit of uh, light showers, but nothing that, you know, made us uh, slow down because, again, it was just very, very um, light rain. Now, we did get here about 15 minutes ago and uh, again we have been experiencing these uh, strong wind gusts and from what we know they're not going to stop anytime soon. We are live uh, in Tahoe, Maricela de la Cruz, KCRA 3 News. And, and Maricela, we can see behind you the lifts are not running at Sierra at Tahoe as they mentioned. They're closing for today, correct? Out of safety concerns? Yeah, um, I was told that they were going to be closing tomorrow. I haven't checked in. We just got here about 15 minutes ago, so I'll go ahead and check in on that in a few minutes. But we have a spin scene. Some people already leaving some skier snowboarders. When we got here, they were already, you know, carrying all their gear and taking off. Yeah, OK, so they knew they were going to close tomorrow, but they were going to make a last minute call on today's operations. And uh, we can see right behind you. Those lifts are not moving and you seem to see people that were leaving the parking lot there. So that tells us a lot. Maricela, thank you so much.